Okay, uh, before we move to the uh, AC analysis, so uh, I want to add uh, another configuration for the DC analysis. So this uh, configuration, uh, we haven't discussed it yet. We haven't discussed it. Um, so it's not, it's what it was not discussed in the last class, in the previous class. Eh? So this configuration is called a drain feedback configuration. So we can see here, uh, this is drain and this is gate. So uh, between gate and drain, there is a gate uh, a feedback resistance, resistor connected between the drain and the uh, gate. So uh, I want to show you how we can uh, analyze the the, uh, the Q point of the, the drain feedback. So let's consider this uh, configuration. So what we want to do is we want to calculate the drain current and VGS voltage. Sorry, VGS and then VDSQ. Okay, so how we do the DC analysis is first we remove the capacitor. Okay, so we remove the capacitor. Okay, and then the second step is uh, for the voltage divider, you need to transform using Thevenin. So this is not voltage divide, divider, so no need to do the transformation. And then the third step is <coughs> uh, write down the transfer characteristic. You need to write down the transfer characteristic. Transfer equation. Eh? Okay, what is your transfer equation? The transfer equation is ID equal to K VGS minus VGS TH square. So VGS TH is given as 3, but K is not uh, directly given. So you need to calculate the K from the ID on and VGS on. So the, the equation for K is. Uh, ID on over VGS on minus VGS TH square. So this is uh, 6 milli over 8 minus 3 square. So this, uh, this will be 0. Point, this will give you 0 0.25 milli. The unit for the K is ampere over voltage square. So now you can rewrite, this is the ID is 0.24 milli and then VGS minus 3 square. So this is your first equation. Okay, and then the second, the step number 4 is the KVL input loop. So KVL input loop. So for this circuit, the loop will be from the uh, DC source 12 volt. So it will pass the 2K and then it will go to 10 mega ohm and then it will uh, pass the gate and source. So this is the loop of the input loop. So this is the input loop. So the KVL for the input loop is uh, minus 12 plus ID the current at, uh, at the 2k is ID and then it has this is 2k and then the current at the 10 mega ohm 10 mega ohm the current is IG so but however the IG is equal to zero the MOSFET the in MOSFET the gate current will always be zero so this is uh, zero times 10 mega ohm. 10 mega and then between the gate and the source we have the voltage drop VGS okay so you get the, the equation is 12 plus ID 2k plus VGS equal to 0 this is your second equation <coughs> okay and then number 5 is uh, Soft equation 3 and 4. So we solve the equation uh, in step 3 and step 4. In step 3, you, you have the equation number 1. 
in step 4 you have equation number 2 so for the solving you have two approach you can do the uh, uh, mathematical using the calculator and then you can also use the graphical but it's, it also depends on the whether the instruction whether the question asks you to do specific approach so you need to uh, meet the you need to comply with the requirement so let's for example for this case let's uh, solve it using the mathematical approach so uh, from for the mathematical approach i recommend you to solve the vgs first okay to do that you need to uh, rewrite the equation number two so you you define the id so id will become 12 minus vgs over 2k so this is equation 2a so equation 2a insert to equation number one and then you shall you will get uh, 12 minus vgs over 2k equal to 0.24 milli vgs minus 3 square so this is Okay, so you have quadratic, you get the quadratic equation. So you uh, arrange this equation, you should get uh, the equation will be 0 0.48. Okay, so uh, to solve this quadratic equation, you can use the calculator and then the answer is the, the answer is you get you have you ha you should have two solution so this is the first solution is uh, 6.41 volt or the second equation the second answer is 2.5 volt okay so we have two solution but you need to pick only one solution so the valid solution will be the one that larger than the threshold voltage our threshold voltage is 3 volt the 6 volt is larger than threshold voltage so the valid answer is this is the valid answer this is your VGSQ okay for the IDQ you can use the equation 2A so IDQ is equal to 12 minus 6.41 over 2k and then you will get so let me draw this the line here so and then you will get uh, 2.8 milliampere okay. so this is uh, the answer for IDQ okay so for this question you need to ask to calculate the IDQ VGSQ also the VDSQ so how you calculate the VDSQ the VDSQ is uh, can be calculated from the KVL that uh, pass through the drain source so the KVL will pass uh, from the 12, 12 volt DC source and then 2k and then the VDS so the KVL will be uh, 12 plus this is ID 2k and then plus the VDS equal to 0 so ID is 2.8 so the VDS is equal to 12 minus 2.8 milli 2k and this is will give you 6.4 volt okay so this is the answer